welcome to video 2 of Dreamweaver tutorials. In this video we are going to look at inserting divs into your website and designing with divs. So I'm going to make sure that I have clicked into the blank side of the Dreamweaver window and I'm going to insert my first div and I'm going to go to the div icon at the top of the screen, insert div tag, click here and you'll notice on the left hand side my cursor is next to the word that says body. Okay, uh, This is where we're going to put all of the content for this page um, but because Dreamweaver is quite clever wherever I click in this window will appear in the correct place in the code over here so just something to bear in mind. So anyway back to inserting divs I'm going to click on the div icon insert div tag and I'm going to call this div wrapper and I'd like you to think of this as a big box on the page that contains all of the other smaller boxes that contain elements of your website. When I say an element on your website I mean things like images or text and they're really handy because you can give a div a label and you can change that and it will change all across of your site. So if you have a site that's hundreds of pages and you for instance want to change uh, the colour of the header. All you'd need to do is to change one of these divs and it will repeat that change across the site. So they are handy things to know about. But this first one we're going to call wrapper and this is going to contain all of our other divs, our other boxes for all of these elements on, that go into building up a website. So I've called it wrapper and I'm going to click on new CSS rule and I'm going to check but it says here class can apply to any HTML element and the name dot wrapper and if I go down here I'm going to check new style sheet file okay and I'm going to press OK and I'm going to call this style dot CSS now this is quite important we're going to look for this file name for any other divs we create on this page we're going to put them into this file and I'm going to make sure that this is inside Jackie's Cafe ok and press save and you'll see a dialog box has appeared that has lots of options for us and if you click down here you get different options for the background Okay, positioning, all sorts of things. Um, but the only thing we need to worry about for this first div is the size. So I'm going to go to box and I'm going to set the width to 900. And that's the only thing I need to set at this moment in time because this is where I'm going to have all of my elements. Oh, sorry, there's one other thing I forgot to mention margin you just need to untick and you need to set to auto and here as well set to auto and this will make sure that it's always centered in the middle of your page okay these are the only things you need to worry about for your wrapper div okay and click apply and then click OK. Okay, and click OK. Great, okay. So you'll see here it says content for class wrapper goes here. This is just something called placeholder text, just to show you that you can put content in here. You can actually delete this if you like. Um, and I'm going to put a new div in now uh, for my header. Okay, so I'm actually going to delete this placeholder text, press delete. You can see I've got a teeny tiny cursor here. I can tab down by pressing enter and I could keep on going forever and ever, but the width won't change. Okay, now that if I like to think of this uh, as a website page, you know, you, you can scroll up and down, but you don't generally scroll side to side. Okay, uh, right, let's put in a new div now for a header. So I'm going to click on the div button once more. And this time I'm going to call it header. 
And I'm going to imagine my header as perhaps a banner across the top of my site, maybe a block colour with some writing in. New CSS rule. Dot header. And I'm going to check this box at the bottom and make sure I'm saving it in that file we created earlier, style.css. I'm going to click here and I'm going to press OK. And now I'm really going to play around with some of these options. Okay, uh, I'm going to choose a font first of all. Let's go for something quite modern. Let's go for Arial, sans serif font, hasn't got any of those little tails and flicks on the end. Font size, well, I'm going to make it quite large because this is of course my header at the top of the page. It needs to be quite eye-catching. Font weight, maybe bold again to make it stand out. Anything else I want to change on here? Oh, maybe the colour. Let's make this a nice, uh, make it a nice bright red. And I'm going to have a look at a background colour as well. I'm going to change this, maybe set this to green. If I wanted to use an image, I could use this browse button here to select an image from my desktop. So perhaps I'd like to create a header that is uh, 900 pixels wide. And uh, maybe this would have uh, maybe some images in or a collage or whatever I wanted. But this is where I could insert that image instead of a colour. Anything else I want to change on here? Um, maybe the box height. Uh, I'm going to set the width to 900 so that it stretches all the way across my header and I'm going to set the float to the left and so that it aligns always to the left hand side and if you click here you'll see you have some options um, but this is what I'm going to set this for at the moment anything else that I need to change I can't think of anything at the moment um, so I'm going to click apply and I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click OK. Now if I have forgotten something I can always double click up here in the CSS styles tab and double click on my file and this will bring uh, the box back up again. Uh, header see the dialog box reappears so if there's anything I've missed that I want to change that's how I return and make those changes okay and now I can actually put a title in here and you see I can highlight this and I'm going to call this Jackie's Cafe great okay um, I think it's about time we had a look at our site really and, and see what's appearing so I'm going to click on this globe icon here and this is the preview icon and click here and I'm going to preview in a browser and I'm going to preview in a Safari so I'm going to click here and it's going to ask me if I want to save the changes to my index file that first file that we created in our site folder I'm going to click save yes so you've seen how easy it is to insert a div um, I'd like you to have a go at putting in some divs now, perhaps one for your header and then some more divs below, um, spaces for images and text, maybe two columns, um, it's up to you, just have a go. In the next video I will talk to you a little bit more about putting in divs uh, and sort of controlling the position of the divs, but for the moment I'd like you to have a practice at putting in some divs of your own. So look forward to talking to you in the next video.